Now the serpent was more crafty than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Indeed, has God said, You shall not eat from any tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, From the fruit of the trees of the garden we may eat, but from the fruit of the tree which is in the middle of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat from it or touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said to the woman, You surely shall not die, for God knows that in the day that you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes and that the tree was desirable to make one wise, she took from its fruit and ate, and she gave also to her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made for themselves loin coverings. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard the sound of thee in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me. She gave me from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? And the woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. And the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you more than all the cattle, and more than every beast of the field. On your belly shall you go, and the dust you shall eat all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise you on the head and you shall bruise him on the heel. To the woman he said, I will greatly multiply your pain in childbirth. In pain you shall bring forth children, yet your desire shall be for your husband and he shall rule over you. Then to Adam he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten from the tree about which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Both thorns and thistles it shall grow for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground, because from it you were taken, for you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Genesis 3, 1 through 19 The Voice Apparently, it was not unusual for God to come into the garden and talk with Adam and Eve. But on this day, everything was different. Yesterday, yesterday they enjoyed being close to God. Now they are overwhelmed with shame and fear. They cover themselves and hide from God. Cowardly, Adam tries to blame Eve, and Eve blames the serpent. Sin has radically changed the relationship between God and his creatures. People no longer turn to God as flowers turn to the sun, but they love darkness instead of light, John 3, 19. When God reveals himself, people cringe with fear. After the Bible's account of the fall, Whenever God came to speak with a person, that person trembled. Whether he was Isaiah the prophet, Isaiah 6, 5, or a shepherd in Bethlehem's field, Luke 2, 9. Whenever the glory of the Lord appears, sinners fear for their lives. See, there is no shelter for our wretchedness when we confront God's blazing holiness. Listen. 
In their hiding place among the trees, Adam and Eve hear God calling, where are you? They are afraid, but God's calling is actually the first sign of his grace. God seeks them. They have not been abandoned. From now on, history will be the story of God seeking and calling while people are running and hiding. Where are you? God has not stopped calling, not yet. If you hear his voice today, do not delay but come. Have you ever asked Jesus to be your Lord and Savior? The Voice